Welcome to Sixties and Restless. We all are finding ourselves in a very different world this week with so many things shut down, so many businesses closed, so many people worried about their income. Um, it's also a time to see people pulling together, people helping each other. And yet for those at least over 60, we're trying to keep our social distancing, we're trying to be extra healthy. I've got my hat on, I've got my fanny pack there. I'm going to be out in the sun because tomorrow it snows. So I'm gonna get my vitamin D back here on the counter. You've got the wipes, you've got the spray, you've got your vitamins, you've got everything, you know, that we're all trying to do to do what's best for ourselves and for people we love. So I'm trying to think of uh, something comparable to this. Uh, when I was a kid on Sundays, um, the only things open were grocery stores and gas stations, and sometimes not the gas stations. So it's not unlike the Sundays of my childhood, but it's like perpetual Sundays. So instead of that, a uh, little stomach ache you'd get Sunday night because you gotta go back to school the next day. It's perpetual Sundays for now. So try to uh, put a good twist on your day. And um, as always, we're gonna live in the moment anyway. So I hope you have a fantastic day. I hope wherever you are, you can get some vitamin D in the sunshine or at least some fresh air for a while. And uh, I hope that our country starts to get good things out of bad, which is what always happens when things uh, go south, so, so to speak. So um, appreciate your liberties, appreciate the people in your life, appreciate your jobs that you can't go to, um, appreciate all that uh, food that you can't go get and those special haunts that you can't go visit. So, may this day be a day of gratitude for you.